have to be a lot of work. It can be prepped ahead of time. It can be super creative, like this beautiful spread from Leanna Lerner. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you show up on the three chefs. And I am not a chef. And you're not a chef. You're sort of like me, actually. Very right? Much so. so kind of not a chef. And you come here with all of this incredibleness. I mean, your kids, I'm surprised they let you come here with this food without eating it all. Well, they tried. They, they tried. tried to steal most of it. But because I'm not a chef, pretty much all of this is store-bought hacks. I love it. That I've done very affordably. And my whole idea is I wanted to create fork-free entertaining yes. for the summer. Because I don't know about you, but I'm not hosting big sit-down dinner parties no. with heavy meals. No. We're sitting on the patio, and it needs to be things on a platter that we plop down and everybody nibbles off of. Right. So kids love anything on a stick. Anything. I love anything. A food, a meal on a stick is always great. Yeah. And you know what's awesome about this? As you said before, you can absolutely prep these ahead of time, but these are also stunners if you're going to someone's house and they ask you to bring an appetizer. Ooh. And just wait until you find out the ingredients because if you knew the ingredients one by one, you probably would never think to serve your guests. Such okay. as chicken nuggets and waffles, frozen waffles. These little guys, you can actually pick up in the frozen food section, uh, a big box of them and pop them in your toaster oven and they make the perfect base to do your little chicken and waffle sandwich. And I pictured and you cutting out each little round waffle all day long. Who's got time for long. that? Who 100%, knows? no. You can just buy the little minis. You can buy them and then you can get custom miniature little chicken nuggets. cutlets, which are chicken nuggets. <laughs> yes. And again, can you imagine you have guests over and you just throw down a tray of chicken nuggets for everyone? They think right. you're crazy. But when you stack them in these great little sandwiches, and I threw a dill pickle on there because that's how I roll, but you can yeah. top them with anything, and they become little slider sandwiches that you can pull off. But then I took them one step further. These are little pipettes. I'm actually going to hold up an empty one okay. that I got from Amazon. Mm -hmm. And these are my secret weapon to wow people without having to really lift a finger in the kitchen. Essentially, what I've done is I've filled them with maple syrup. Oh. So your guests can pull this out, oh. and as they're eating, they drizzle. Awesome. So that's my savory but sweet. The mini waffles also make an incredible little dessert. Yes. So again, whatever your seasonal fruit is, grab some, slice them up, and instead of maple syrup, I've done a little chocolate ganache for Girl. this that they can drizzle right on oh. top. So again, yes. fork free. Everybody might have food everywhere on their face, but at least you don't have dishes to clean. It's a party. So it's a party. You it's an absolute leave party. With food everywhere in your face. So and this is great. It's great. And a platter like this, I actually picked this one up off of Amazon too. I don't know okay. if you can see, but there's little notches in it. So it holds all of your skewers in place. Smart. So when you're serving, you don't mm. have to worry about them t uh, top it, toppling over, yeah, which is yeah, great. Yeah. Very good. Now, I, that's great for a main. Yes. Brunch, dessert, lunch, whatever. dinner, whatever you want, mm -hmm. but salad. I yes. wanted to do salad on a stick. Now, this is something that actually my mom used to do, kind of the caprese salad on a stick, which lovely. is lovely and delicious. Again, very fresh. The tomato, you have fresh basil, mm -hmm. bocconcini. But I like to kick it up a notch because the thing with this is people start using their fingers yeah. and they get a little messy with the balsamic. Pick up some mini non-dippers mm -hmm. and then you're sliding off a little miniature mm -hmm. sandwich yes. without getting your hands ah. messy. So delicious and yes. it keeps things again nice and tidy. And speaking of handheld, this is kind of the classic skewer. I yeah. think we often do during the summer. Nothing wrong with that. Your proteins, your it's vegetables. All good. But again, instead of having to have the knife and fork to put it on a plate, yeah. you can get the little mini wraps, and now you've got the little mini fajitas as well. Oh, that's right so good. in the palm of your hand. So it makes it really quick. Yeah. It's that one little step just elevates everything. And I will be ha I would just have as much bread as possible oh, for each skewer. Right. You know me, I'm a bread. Absolutely, bready. absolutely. Like another one, I need another one. Now, I have to point out one other side. So you have a salad side, a little yes. healthier, but if you want to be a little heavier with your side, yes. I made poutine on a stick. Oh, so with this, I did frozen tater tots. Yes. I did some cheese curds and some bacon. It's so classy. And if you want to get a little fancy, you can do a side dip bowl with And then for a drink for your guests, yes, I am a big fan of frozen grapes for wine because then it keeps yeah. the wine cold, it doesn't dilute it. Mm -hmm. But for cocktails, consider doing some melon uh, just with the baller. So this yeah. is really simple, a selection of melon. And again, you could do pineapple, you could do strawberries even on a skewer. But with 
with these, you freeze them. Okay. And then these become great ice cubes and stir sticks oh, in your nice. mixed drinks. But if you're having an adult party, yes. we're going to kick this up a notch. Okay. We are going to take some tequila first. Okay. And we are going to get our fruit drunk. Yes. So we're going to soak this. And you're going to leave that for about an hour and to, these are all to really frozen. soak in. The well, no, they're not frozen yet. You're okay. going to let them soak in. You're going to take them off and skewer them. Okay. And actually, you're going to skewer them on, I have a, a plain one here, a larger pipette. Oh, nice. Right there. You still, you got those as well at Amazon? Amazon, yes. Good. And you're going to put them on this. So I've skewered like three here. Do not get rid of the tequila in that bowl. No. You're going to save it. We would never do that. Because once they come out of the freezer, you're going to suck up the leftover tequila into the pipette, and now you have a shot for your oh. drink. Oh! <laughs> With your frozen melon balls. That's cute. So it keeps the drink cold. So I love this because you can make up a giant mocktail yes. for people, and then just let people know that the frozen melon balls on the pipettes have, have tequila. Booze, so they can add their own little shot. Oh, and then so otherwise, good. you just only have to make one drink for your yes. whole party. People can spike it or not. Which makes which it so great. much easier. Yes, that exactly. is great. Okay, we have, and there's more. <laughs> and there's more. Wow. <laughs> now this last one is super fun and actually not just for parties, yeah. but I'm going to be making these all kinds for my kids for camps good. this summer. Yeah, for this lunch. Is pizza on a stick. Oh, and cute. And super simple. And what's really great about them is the kids actually helped me make them. Oh, nice. So you get them involved. Yeah. And all you need to do for this is take your favorite pizza topping. So you can see that I have on this one like pepperoni, mushroom, mushroom, pepperoni, mozzarella. You can add a little pineapple if you're that person. Yeah. If you're not, because that's very divisive, <laughs> then don't. Um, but once you have your little skewer, I just bought store-bought pizza dough yeah. in the tube. Yes. And you basically just cut it into strips, and wind it around. around and then bake it and then just serve it with some pizza sauce and they become fun little dippers for your oh, party. Oh wow, my kids are going wild over super, that. Super, super simple. You're so, like that brain is just on overdrive <laughs> all the time. Give it up for LA. <laughs>